Hello you sexy people and welcome to Armor Adventures. Today's tutorial is about equipment and I will tell you all you need to know about equipment. So let's for it, it will be about 10 tips but very important tips. Uh, first let me introduce you uh, about types of equipment. There are standard equipment which is like basic, there is bounty equipment which is couple of percent better, improved equipment which is one more percent better and there is ex experimental equipment. This equ equipment is very new and uh, I will not talk about it at this moment because there are many facts which are unknown. So first let's describe standard equipment. Improved ventilation, as it says here, improves all crew skills. So it means that your commander will have um, more uh, experience, uh, you will have more, um, I don't know. Let's start from the list. It will increase your d damage per minute. It will increase also gun loading, traverse speed, uh, gun impression it will not increase, aiming time will be better, uh, dispersion possibly a little bit better, but I don't think so. Uh, 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 hit points, hull armor, turret armor, no. Susp your tank will be repaired more quickly. Uh, it will increase specific power, you will ha have more acceleration, you will not get more top speed or reverse speed. Traverse speed will be a bit better, your uh, camo will be better and your view range will be better. So actually this equipment is very useful uh, for tanks uh, when you want to increase overall um, let's say characteristics or you don't have anything, be anything better to mount. Let's talk now about the improved rotation mechanism. It, it increases turret traverse or gun traverse for vehicle with stationary cabins, hull traverse speed and it decreases dispersion during vehicle movement. Uh, and also uh, decreases dispersion after firing. This equipment is useful for tanks uh, in which you need better traverse speed, hull traverse speed, and also um, if you want to reduce your aiming circle after firing. And sometimes, but basically, Mm, there is a vertical stabilizer, stabilizer which is better for decreasing dispersion, but sometimes you cannot mount vertical stabilizer, stabilizer so it's better to mount improved rotation. God Rammer is very simple to explain. It's minus 10% of reload time uh, and it only affects reload time, nothing else. Uh, this can be a very simple example uh, to explain you about uh, types. Standard gun rammer uh, decreases reload time for 10%. Bounty gun rammer decreases reload time for 12.5%. And improved reload system decreases reload time for 13.5%. So you can see the difference. Uh, enhanced gun lane drive decreases aiming speed. Uh, actually this is um, not so good because um, main difference between decreasing gaming speed and vertical stabilizer is that vertical stabilizer instantly decrease your rectical for 20% and aiming speed is acting at that moment and then it increases to like minimum rectical. 
so it's, mu it's much better to get minus 20% instantly than you know increase aiming speed for 10% sometimes you will combine these things these two things but usually you will not because you have much more important equipment to mount than to than to mount aiming speed A improved aiming is actually one of the best equipment uh, as you can see i i have 26 of them mounted on my tanks uh, for example, if your standard reticle is like this, with improved aiming, your minimum reticle will decrease like this. So it's very important for your accuracy. I already described what does vertical stabler means. Uh, spore liner, um, actually this is mostly uh, beneficial to heavy tanks or uh, tank destroyers which um, I don't know are not very mobile and uh, flexible to play so you can see here it uh, reduces heavy explosive shell damage uh, protects crew from injuries reduces stun duration and uh, also decreases additional stun duration if vehicle is already stunned uh, improved hardening is also used on similar tanks which are not very mobile and on which you focus on armor and um, I don't know uh, not being tracked for so long this increases uh, vehicle hit points uh, increases suspension durability for example your tracks has uh, have um, I don't know, durability 100. So uh, it's kind of held only for tracks. It's not shown anywhere in the games. Mm, you can only find this info on special websites. And uh, with this, uh, it means that uh, your track health is increased by 50%. So, for example, enemies for enemies, it will be much more difficult to track you this is also good like i said for uh, tanks who doesn't have a good mobility and uh, repairing tracks is very important for them this also increases load capacity and uh, decreases hull damage caused by suspension damage during impact um, these last two things are not very important Modified configuration class is kind of similar to to mentioned before. It increases repair speed, internal module, internal module dura durability, and uh, minus fifty percent of loading uh, speed penalty and loss of engine power, and also decreases chance of engine fire. Uh, this is very useful for tanks uh, who are very weak, but usually this is not very popular. Actually, all of all of these three um, equipment are not very useful. You can only use them on, I don't know, E3, E100, uh, mouse, uh, and similar tanks. Badger and usually only on city maps on all open maps this is not very useful uh, additional grousers actually i never use this kind of equipment and it's uh, comparing to all other uh, equipment this is least useful turbocharger is <laughs> also one of the best equipment in the game especially for slow vehicles because you know who wants to <laughs> very slow tank you know who wants turtle tank we all want to go faster so this is very useful for i don't know e100 mouse uh, badger type 5 heavy ester v103 or any ester v and similar camouflage net is uh, in, uh, increase your concealment 
but only when you are stationary and only after 3 seconds after you are stopped. So keep that in mind. It doesn't work while you are moving. So it's not useful for, I don't know, EBRs or any, or if you want to, you know, through the enemies uh, on the on the enemy side. If you want to snipe and stay in, I don't know, in one place, it's very useful. Also, if you have tank who doesn't have turret and you need to move your tank while you are aiming, every time when you move your hull, this... Uh, camo is reset so keep that in mind telescope works in a similar way uh, you, you get uh, more view range but only three seconds after your vehicle stops so it's kind of same situation with like with camouflage net on EBRs this is not useful because you know you are constantly moving but if you are I don't know, uh, tank destroyer who sits in a back or in the bush and ideally you have fully rotatable turret this is like very good equipment I um, use it a lot I have 12 of them and camouflage I have only 5 Coated optics increases your view range uh, for 10% uh, and this is not uh, based on whether you are driving or you are at one place stopped it works all the ways that is the difference uh, here you have 25% here, here you have 10% but uh, this is ideal for EBRs uh, or if you heavy tanks, uh, medium tanks, if you want to play actively. If you are sni sniping from behind, binocular te telescope is much better option. Commander vision system is uh, also one of the best uh, equipment. Uh, this is ki in introduced in the game, I don't know, one year ago. It's kind of new equipment. Uh, it uh, decreases concealment of enemy, enemy vehicle be behind the foliage, both moving and stationary, and decreases concealment of moving enemy vehicles. This is very good equipment for uh, light tanks or for medium tanks uh, uh, that are very good as for spotters, I don't know, Yudes and uh, Borask, for example. Very, very good tank. Improved radio set is, uh, I don't know, so big junk that I will not even explain what it does. It's uh, least useful equipment from all of the equipment. So definitely don't mount this. Any equipment is more useful than this piece of crap. Low noise exhaust system is very good uh, equipment, f especially for light tanks, because it decreases your, uh, it in increase your camo rating by six percent even while you are moving, comparing to camouflage net, which work uh, that works only when you are stationary after three seconds after you are stationary. So this is very good for I don't know EBRs who you know who are constantly on the move, or uh, I don't know maybe you will want to put it on a leopard if you are playing very aggressively, or U-16 and things like that. Third tips are directives. So let me show you what it is. You can find them here. And actually, directives can improve your equipment by a certain percentage. You have directives for equipment and directives for crew. We will not talk about crew, we will only talk about uh, directives for equipment. As you can see, almost any type of equipment can be proved by some percentage. Uh, I think it's self-explainable. This is extra 10%, 2.5%, 2.5% and so on. 
so you will figure it out on your own very easily. Ne next thing, uh, fourth tip is about special slot. Uh, and actually uh, normal slot. Each tank has its normal slot. For example, for medium tanks, normal slot, uh, normal special slot, actually first special slot, is mobility. It means that if you put, if you mount here mobility equipment, it will be automatically increased by a few percent. And uh, you can uh, filter here mobility equipment and you can see what equipment will be automatically increased. Same thing is with this special slot, second special slot here. But this special slot here, uh, you have option in the field modification to choose uh, what kind, what type it will be. For example, medium tanks have, can have scouting or survivability. And you can choose one of them and when you mount equipment from this type, it will be automatically better for a couple of percent. Medium tanks have this choice. Let me show you for heavy tanks. For heavy tanks, first slot is survivability and second slot you can choose between mobility and firepower. You can see it here. Uh, if you choose one option, you can change your mind and choose other options, but you will lose some credits. It will cost you 150,000 credits to change your mind. So think wisely. You don't want to waste your credits. Uh, tank destroyers have for first slot firepower and for second slot scouting or survivability. Survivability is mostly good for well-armored tanks uh, with uh, bad uh, well not bad but uh, who are not very maneuverable and for example Badger, E4, E5 and similar. Uh, 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 light tanks for first slot have scouting and for second slot they have mobility and firepower. Uh, this is kind of not useful for uh, light tanks because usually you don't need mobility nor firepower so mm, you will not have much luck with light tanks and second slot and of course the scouting slot is most important for light tanks and artillery where is my baby mm -mm -mm. First slot is firepower and second slot you can choose be between survivability and I think scouting. Yeah. Scouting for uh, for RT is you know like um, not useful at all. Survivability can be useful. Mm, when we are talking about artillery, I can show you what I mounted on my artillery. I know there is no much uh, artillery players, but uh, if you are one of them, this will be interesting for you. Uh, on this baby, I put improved rotation, spoliner, and aiming speed. Uh, because uh, this is best what you can mount on this tank. You you cannot mount a reload on this artillery. You can mount on other, but not on this one, because it's auto reloader. Camo is not very useful. Uh, Spore liner is very useful when uh, enemy artillery hit you and uh, you have minus sixty percent of damage and also uh, protection for crew from injuries and less stun duration. 
Mm, okay, but let's not go into details about this. You get idea about uh, slots and uh, their benefits. Uh, tip number five is mount equipment which is most useful to tank you are playing with and also that fits your play style. For example, uh, you have let's say Leopard which has very good uh, view range by default and if you mount let me show you if you mount for example telescope or coated optic optics you will increase uh, that characteristics for significantly if it's i don't know 50 and you mount a telescope you will have 27 more percent on um, skill which is already very good so you, you will have um, can i sh sorry guys my internet crashed for example if you have leopard which has very good view range let's say it is 400 and if you mount telescope which increases view range by 25 percent it means that you will have uh 490 instead of 400 so it means that you increase your view range by 90 and uh, let's say mm, mm, for example that leo doesn't have good camo and you this is like a heavy tank is very good example E100 has only 5% of camo and if you put camo on this tank it will increase uh, this camo only by I don't know 1% or 2% I don't want to do the math now so you need to think do you want to get one two percent or twenty percent do you want to increase this value by one or by 100 so this is very important to keep this in mind this can this rule you can only um, ignore if you have i don't know if you really want uh, to have more camo on some tank uh, then you use equipment which will not increase which will not be economically increased but this is like in really real special cases also if one <coughs> sorry guys if you have tank which has a very good dpm the best to do for the tank is to decrease reload time this will increase your dpm significantly if your dpm is i don't know 3000 with uh, re decreased reload time it will be 300 330 uh, 3300 3, or even 3400 or 500 keep that in mind also if your tank is very slow then you need to use turbo this is very useful for i don't know e100 mouse uh, this puzzle 7 e3 e4 uh, and similar uh, next it's sixth tip what you can mount think about uh, which is the best equipment you can use 
For example, let's switch it to Leopard. Mm. F bounty improved equipment you have experimental optics loading system stabilizing equipment improved compressor uh, wear resistant gun laying drive venting system increased shell resistance and improved configuration and there is no improved aiming you can only have bounty aiming which is here so uh, on your tanks which need let's say E100 ah, mouse maybe it's even better example but ok let's use E100 let's say you want to have best aiming best reload and vents for improved aiming you need to put bounty aiming because this is maximum aiming reduce circle size what you can get in the game there is no point to put bounty rammer because there is improved rammer it's called innovative loading system so in this case you need to use bounty aiming improved loading system and also improved venting system even though you have bounty ventilation but uh, bounty ve ventilation is worse than improved venting system next thing what you need to be aware of is to mount your equipment economically you don't have resource, resources to put best equipment on all of your tanks you need to do it economically so try to use first special slot second best uh, special slot and in third slot you need to use uh, some special equipment either bounty or improved let me show you um, Ah, this is very good example of economic use for object 277 I wanted improved aiming circle increase reload time and improve overall mm, crew skills so this is like advanced economic setup bounty equipment here reload is maximized by this special slot and uh, on first slot I could also use standard vent system but I would not get extra 3.5 actually 2.5 percent because with standard vents you have 5 percent and standard vents in special slot is 6.5 percent mm. on some tanks you don't have choice for example T100 light uh, on first slot special slot I put uh, commander vision system uh, firepower I don't need on uh, light tank uh, also I don't need survivability so I needed to <laughs> use improved optics and I used bounty exhaust system uh, which tanks I can show you. this tank is like a maximum equipment all three improved uh, uh, but this is my you know my little baby I really adore this tank I put here in uh, improved uh, reload time improved turbo and improved ventilation this is like you know best we can do. I have second type of equipment uh, I, I, I put out uh, turbo and I put uh, telescope for very open maps where I don't need so much speed this is also uh, what you need to be aware of uh, you can mount two types of equipment usually you can put them one type for city maps and one type for open maps and if you have same equipment on both types you don't need to you know buy uh, 
two vent system one is enough but if you have different for example we here don't have turbo here we don't have uh, turbo but we have telescope we need to extra mount this telescope which you also needed to buy next tip is when to buy and sell equipment guys this is very important you buy equipment only when it's on discount and wargaming is putting equipment on discount like every i don't know one two months minimum every three months so you need to plan in advance save your credits so you can buy equipment when it's on discount usually best discount what you can get is minus 50 percent sometimes wargaming you know is playing with us and it's giving equipment on minus 25 percent but that is not good deal good deal is minus 50 percent also uh, very important tip never sell your equipment while discount discount is active because uh, usually let's say this equipment let's go to leo standard price for turbo is 60000 credits if it's on discount you can buy it for 300000 but if you are selling it on discount when its discount is active then you will sell it for only 150 if you would like if you would sell this equipment now when it's no discount active we will get 300000 uh, this also is very good tip you can actually spend and uh, when equipment is on minus 50% discount you can spend all of your money to buy equipment and after discount is uh, passed and not active anymore if you will need credits every any time you can sell your equipment for about not about for exactly the same amount of money which you purchased it so you will not lose any money so you can spend whatever money you have when to buy equipment when it when it is on discount tip number nine is you use equipment which helps you to play your game style for example if you are sniping from the back use telescope you use camo you use improved aiming if you are playing on the front let's let me show you let me open equipment if you are playing uh, in front uh, you know one to one with enemies uh, on close combat then you use vertical stabilizer i don't know improved hardening uh, ventilation and even gun laying drive if you are a light tank and uh, you i don't know like to play stationary then use telescope and camouflage net if you are light tank who likes to you know drive uh, close to enemies then you use low noise exhaust systems and coated optics uh, if speed is not what you want then don't use turbo use that equipment slot for something else and uh, i think you get the idea and uh, last tip use equipment which brings you more benefits uh, for example for light tanks there is no need to i don't know use reload time because you will not shoot so much your main goal is to spot but if you are you know light tanks who really like to shoot you know what the hell use gun rammer it's all about you and 
uh, your play style and to make yourself happy. This is game to have fun, you know, there are no rules for anything. There is just no point, I don't know, to put camouflage on heavy tanks. They have 5% camo and when you put camouflage net on heavy tanks you get 7% and that will actually not bring you anything. I think you get the picture. And before ending this video, I will show you uh, which equipment I have on tanks and uh, explain it uh, in few details. Let's start with E50M, well armored medium tank, improved vents, improved Kotic optics and turbo in special slot. Uh, this is, let's say, advanced economic setup. I could use here normal coated optics to get extra 1% from this slot, but I like this tank, so I put this. If you are playing a lot with some tanks and you really like them, then you, you need to equip them mass maximally good. Leo is also one of my favorite tanks. I have two equipment for this guy, as you can see here. And this is for open maps, and for city maps I put turbo here. This is set up for E100, I don't play with it so much, so uh, I didn't put bounty uh, aiming uh, circle here. This is for open maps, so I can have better accuracy. And for city maps I have better reload. For mouse is kind of similar, went turbo in special slot, and here reload. I also don't play it uh, a lot. This guy here doesn't even uh, have uh, turbo here, <laughs> I run out of turbos, but uh, turbo is usually in this place here. Before I played with grill a lot, uh, so uh, at that time it here was improved reload system and this was uh, rotation and telescope. Uh, grill has very good spotting, that's why I put uh, spotting here instead of camo, but uh, you can also use camo net here instead of telescope. Uh, T100 LT Bounty exhaust system, improved optics, and commander vision system. Uh, as on light tanks you don't have a very useful second slot, you need to put bounty or improved equipment here. One thing that I forgot to tell you is that the main advantage of bounty equipment is to that you can easily move it uh, across different vehicles. So usually I have one set of bouting equipment which I move around vehicles. For example, uh, now Bajor is top of the tree and I put bounty equipment on it and after uh, top of the tree event finish, then I put um, equipment which I would use, let's say, normally. Also, uh, bounty equipment is very easy to demount, uh, it, it will cost you 10 gold or one demounting kit, uh, but improved equipment is very expensive to demount, it, it will cost you 200 bonds, which are not very easy to earn. So you need to think very good uh, where will you put uh, improved equipment. Object 140, uh, I don't know why this guy doesn't have optics here. This is my standard setup for this vehicle, very good uh, DPM, uh, it has very good DPM, so I uh, wanted to improve it uh, maximally with uh, innovative loading system. 
Here is okay to have optics because it's in a special slot and improved aiming. Object 43U, uh, here in future I will put uh, bounty aiming and uh, this can stay like this, it will be a very economical setup. I7, I, on I7 I put uh, innovative loading system, aiming circle and vents. Um, this is also a very economic setup for this tank. Object 277, improved venting system, standard reload but in special slot and bounty aiming. Mm, it all guys depends how you play some tanks. For example, if I would, I don't know, play passively and camp with this tank, then uh, you can put uh, telescope or coated optics. If uh, if you want to play in close combats, then you can uh, I don't know put a stabilizer, and you know it all depends of what kind of um, gameplay you like. Uh, here is missing bounty aiming. I don't have so much bounty aiming, so I put them in vehicles uh, which I really like uh, and I play more often. Uh, object 268, uh, as you can see, aiming circle, reload, improved winds. Here, sh uh, in future, I will put improved loading, but uh, as I said, I don't have so much of them. This tank is, I don't play it often, so it doesn't have any improved equipment and uh, it's not... This is example of not uh, well equipped tank. You need to use second special slot, but in this case mobility, mobility or fire, firepower. Actually, in this case, uh, on this tank, I, would, I will probably activate firepower slot here because this is more like a shooting tank and not for spotting. So this is not good equipment for this tank. Patton doesn't have equipment, but I uh, usually to use uh, turbo, coated optics and uh, aiming circle, or you can use reload. E3, definitely bounty turbo and uh, this you can combine either bounty aiming or improved reload one is enough the other one should be in this slot here i usually have bounty turbo but i put it on a badger at the moment it kind of same tank same equipment this light here, bounty exhaust system, telescope and commander vision system. Uh, I put uh, telescope because uh, I usually stay in a bush and I don't play actively with this tank uh, like with VB EBR. With EBR you need to have coated optics for sure. AMX 50B. Uh, Auto reloader, uh, so definitely you need to have a uh, good stabilizer and uh, of course aiming circle and uh, vents. This setup is very economic setup for this tank. M454, improved loading system, turbo and vents. Fosh B is missing improved aiming system. Uh, on this RT, uh, this is best equipment in my opinion. Improved rotation, you move uh, your traverse speed and uh, hull and gun traverse speed faster. It even decreases uh, dispersion after firing. This is in case when enemy artists hit you, so hopefully they don't kill you from first shot and improve the aiming speed.
this is like one of the ra rare, rare cases where you should use uh, gun laying drive. Manticore, you can use coated optics here instead of telescope. S Conquer has very very good EPM, so it, it's very good to increase it. In future, I will put here innovative uh, gun rammer. Badger, I like a lot, and uh, as you can see, I put improved loading system, turbo, and vents. Uh, as this tank is very good for um, sniping from the back and uh, even f for close one-on-one -on -one combat, uh, there is and has very good armor. There is no point uh, to put um, camo net, for example, because even if you will be spotted, you will probably not be penetrated. Telescope, uh, you can put telescope, but. Um, as this is not a good thing to use telescope on. FV4005 uh, It has very bad camouflage, so I used camouflage net. Improved aiming should be here, but uh, I don't have it. And bounty circle. With the 1115A, very good tank. Improve the loading system, aiming circle, and improve vents. I think I don't have equipment for this tank. STB1, great DPM, so you must improve it. You can see equipment here. Type 5 Heavy have, has temporary bounty equipment because it is currently top of the tree. I'm not sure which equipment uh, I would put on this tank, I don't like it very much, but uh, let's say this would be ideal equipment for him. With TVP um, it's very understandable what to use, bounty aiming, improved stabilizer and improvements. You need to have very good uh, aim time and uh, minimum dispersion, and uh, with the um, venting system you even decrease uh, reload time not but uh, with uh, i would like to point out that with vents you cannot decrease reload time between shells but only complete reload with the 55 you can use stabilizer stabilizer on this tank instead of i don't know turbo or vents I decided for this option. Stick CTP, uh, bounty aiming for sure, but I don't have so, so much of them. UDES 1516, I equipped, uh, I have one setup for like spotter. You can see equipment here. And the uh, other setup is like normal. Uh, please make note that when you have one place f for scouting equipment, even though all of, both of all three equipment are scouting, in this slot you put equipment which uh, for which doesn't have um, improved or bounty version. So in this case, uh, all three equipment are maximum maximized. Crown wagon bounty aiming and uh, innovative uh, vents. Ester 103B, all improved equipment to maximize uh, DPM and uh, bounty turbo, so you have um, very good speed uh, when you are in siege mode. Also, I have one setup for open maps where I replace turbo with telescope. And also, if tank has already very good camo, uh, then uh, it's maybe better to increase uh, view range than improving camo. But you know, it's all up to you. 
it's not good to be spotted. Sometimes it's better not to be spotted than to spot enemies. So, you know, try what works for you best. Mm, Projeto improved vents, coated optics and improved aiming. Well, actually, bounty aiming. Rhinoceronte is, uh, has very good uh, view range, so I put coated optics, otherwise, and very good gun, so no need uh, to put uh, imp bounty aiming. Let me tell you a few more, let me show you a few more tanks, which are premium tanks. For Scorpion, innovative loading system, Camonet, because to improve uh, camo rating and telescope SU 130 pm similar this tank has already very good camo so I improved view range and it's not very precise so I need to use bounty aiming with medium tanks you can you can mount equip them you know whatever you like if you are playing in close combat, then you put stabilizer, I don't know, vents, and um, reload. If you are playing from the back, you can use a telescope or coated optics, uh, definitely bounty aiming and turbo so you can move around quickly or even vents. Many options are good, it all depends about um, exactly about your gameplay style and tank characteristics. This is auto reloader, so I put vertical stabilizer, aiming and vents. For renegade I put stabilizer, circle and vents. Mm, I think there is no eh, one tank to show you again. I, I equip this tank similar as um, Udes 15-16. There are two options. Uh, one is for um, like being a light tank. And second option is to be like a combat tank. It all depends about your preferences. And guys, make sure always to have, um, if you have enough resources, and especially for tanks who can play, uh, for, wi for which is important to have, um, which acts differently in city maps and open maps, try to have double equipment for both types of maps. Uh, and... I believe guys this is all for today if you have any question about equipment uh, or some uh, specific uh, tank and uh, your game style please write me in comments I promise I will reply uh, and uh, if you have any question in general please write it in comment whatever you want really and uh, if you like this video, press the thumb up and subscribe. And if you really think this video, you know, is like a piece of poop, then press the thumb down. Thank you guys for your time and see you tomorrow. Bye.